John Keats, a luminary of the Romantic era, blazed brightly across the literary sky. His poetry resonates with intense emotion and vivid imagery. He captured the essence of beauty and mortality. Keats's life, though tragically short, left an indelible mark on English literature. His influence continues to this day. The Romantic movement emphasized emotion, imagination, and the power of nature. Keats embraced these ideals wholeheartedly. He is now considered one of the most important Romantic poets. Keats's poetry is renowned for its rich sensory imagery. He used language to evoke all five senses. This creates a deeply immersive experience for the reader. His words paint vivid pictures in the mind. Consider Ode to a Nightingale. The poem is filled with the sounds, smells and sights of a summer evening. We hear the nightingale's song. We smell the embalmed darkness. We see the violets dim. These details create a palpable atmosphere. We feel like we are right there with Keats, listening to the bird's enchanting melody. In Ode to Autumn, Keats paints a portrait of the season through the senses. We see the laden boughs of fruit trees. We smell the fume of poppies. We taste the mellow fruitfulness. Keats's language makes autumn come alive. It engages all our senses. His mastery of imagery extends beyond the purely descriptive. He uses sensory details to convey complex emotions. The sweetness of ripe fruit can symbolize joy. The fading light of autumn can represent melancholy. Keats's imagery works on multiple levels. It enriches both the sensory and emotional landscape of his poems. Keats championed the concept of negative capability. This is the ability to remain in uncertainties, mysteries and doubts. It's about accepting the unknown, embracing the ambiguity of life, central to understanding Keats's poetry. He explores complex emotions without needing neat resolutions. He doesn't try to explain everything. He lets the mysteries remain, inviting readers to contemplate unanswered questions, embracing uncertainty and beauty and mortality, acknowledging the fleeting nature of beauty, recognizing the inevitability of death, exploring with wonder and acceptance. Negative capability allows Keats to dwell in the in-between spaces, finding beauty in the unknown, making his poetry both profound and deeply human. Section 4 Classical Mythology and Keats's Poetic Vision Keats's poetry is deeply influenced by classical mythology. He drew inspiration from Greek and Roman myths and legends. These ancient stories provided him with a rich source of imagery and symbolism. They informed his exploration of universal themes. His poem, Ode on a Grecian Urn, is a prime example of this influence. The poem centers on a decorated urn depicting scenes from Greek mythology. Keats uses the urn as a springboard to reflect on art, beauty, and time. Endymion, one of his longer poems, is based on the Greek myth of Endymion and the moon goddess Selene. Keats reimagines this myth. He infuses it with his own romantic sensibilities. He explores themes of love, longing, and the search for the ideal. Classical mythology provided Keats with a framework for exploring human emotions. The gods and goddesses of ancient Greece, with their loves, jealousies, and triumphs, offered him a powerful lens through which to examine the human condition. The myths resonated with his own experiences. Section 5, Personal Tragedy and the Shaping of Poetic Voice. Keats's life was marked by personal tragedy. He experienced the loss of loved ones at a young age. His mother and brother both succumbed to tuberculosis. This disease would later claim his own life as well. These experiences profoundly shaped his poetry. The shadow of death hangs over much of Keats's work. He grappled with the fragility of life. He explored the themes of mortality and loss. His poems often express a sense of longing for something beyond the earthly realm. His own impending mortality gave his writing a sense of urgency. He knew his time was limited. This fueled his desire to create something beautiful and enduring. He poured his heart and soul into his poetry. The pain of loss also gave his work a depth of emotion. He understood the human condition in a way that few others could. His poetry resonates with readers who have also experienced grief and loss. It offers solace and understanding. Section 6, Form, Structure and the Enduring Legacy of Keats. 
Keats was an innovator in terms of poetic form and structure. He experimented with different rhyme schemes and meters. He pushed the boundaries of traditional poetic forms. He created something new and unique. He is particularly known for his use of the ode. His odes of 1819, including Ode to a Nightingale and Ode on a Grecian Urn, are considered some of the finest examples of the form in English literature. Keats's odes are characterized by their complex structure and rich imagery. They often explore philosophical themes. They reflect on the nature of beauty, truth, and the human condition. They demonstrate his mastery of language and form. Keats's legacy continues to inspire poets and readers today. His exploration of beauty, mortality, and the human condition remains timeless. His innovative use of language and form has influenced generations of writers. He is a testament to the power of poetry to transcend time and to touch the human soul.